This is kind of a common question that I get. So I thought I'd do a video on it and also demonstrate some of the, the lifts that I actually do in the gym. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through my workout program. This is what I'm doing right now. It's just totally legit, honest, exactly what I'm doing right now, but it's only for about eight weeks. Now I may vary this during a workout, depending on how I feel. I'm very in tune with my body. I know when I should back off. I know when I can do more. I know when I can add another exercise, but this is in general what I'm doing right now. I'm going to do it for about eight weeks and then um, I'll modify it. And there's lots of ways that um, I can modify this. And maybe, you know, I'll do another video, you know, at the end of this eight weeks, I just started this program and we'll see how it goes. But, you know, I love the variety and love to be able to change things. And just, I just, I love the gym. It's, it's a release for me. It's, it's my happy place. So um, you'll notice on here, uh, there's a lot of emphasis on my legs. Now, you may have noticed that my arms are kind of skinny and my legs are kind of skinny. Uh, people make fun of them. But it's not for neglect. It's not because I've neglected my legs especially. And you'll kind of see this as we go through it. So uh, I'm going to start off with my Monday workout. And as I talk about it, we'll cut away and I'll show you uh, some demonstrations of these exercises that I'm actually doing in the gym. So first thing is, you know, I'm going to warm up and I'm going to warm up for each exercise. So I'm going to do, um, my, my first lift is going to be a front squat. So I'm going to work my quads. I'm going to work my legs the first day and I'm going to work my shoulders. So, um, the first exercise is going to be front squats. And you'll see that in here where I've got the bar here, or I'm going to do a safety um, squat, a safety bar squat. What's different about that is the bar is behind me, but I can grip it here. I love that because my shoulders are tight. And when I get, when I try to get my hands behind the bar, when I'm doing a regular squat um, with the bar on my back, it really kind of tweaks my shoulders. I'm in my sixties. Okay. So give me a break on that. So, um, a safety, it, it, this is a safety squat bar and I, I can grip it here and I, I love this bar. So you'll, you'll see that also. So I'm either going to do one of those. I'm either going to do the front squats with the bar here up on my shoulders or the squats with the bar on my back. And I'm going to do about, um, probably three to four working sets of um, the squats. And then I'm going to do hack squats. And I'm gonna, probably going to do three working sets of hack squats. What do I mean by that? Three sets, not counting my warm up. And you can see this is close to the weight I use that you're watching here on, on this video. And um, I don't lift heavy. I'm really trying to prevent uh, injury, but I want to get the maximum result from my weight training. So two to three working sets of the hack squats. Then I'm going to do leg curls. Leg curls are either going to be lying leg curls or seated uh, curls. And you can see the difference there. I like them both. I vary it. And I'll usually do about four sets of leg curls. So then I'm going to work my calves and my calves are really skinny, but I blast them. I work my calves at least three or four days a week, usually five. And it's a muscle that you can work more because it's such a conditioned muscle. You're using your calves every day, every step you take. So it's a, it's a muscle group that you can, it, it's hard to overtrain your calves. And I usually do five to six sets on my calves. So that's something I'm going to do also on Monday. Um, and then I'm going to do my shoulders. I'm going to do side lateral raises. Right now I'm just doing side lateral raises. And I'm doing shoulder press. 
And after the eight weeks, I do other exercises. Sometimes I use machines, but this is what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to really stick with this pretty much for eight weeks. So shoulders. Next, I'm going to finish off my workout with um, five minutes on a step mill. And I like this because it's just five minutes, but I'm going up 15 to 20 flights of stairs in five minutes. That's the end of my workout. And then a little stretching, you know, at the end, uh, you know, I standing, stretching a, a lot, not a lot of, you know, I'm not going to lay down and sit down and do uh, 30 minutes of stretching. I just, I probably should do more, but I don't. Okay. So now let's go to Tuesday and Tuesday and Thursdays are going to be the same. So we went over Monday. Now we're going to do Tuesday and Thursday, same workout. I'm going to work my chest and my back. So that's my chest and my lats. And what I'm doing right now is it nothing big. Um, I'm doing dumbbell chest press and I'm doing, um, lat pulls. Now there's a lot of other things I can put in here, but I'm getting in about five work, five solid working sets. And that's just two exercises. One for my chest. I may lift that, uh, bench up a little bit and make it a little bit of an incline on my chest press. And then I'm doing lat pulls and you can see the one I'm doing here, but I may change the bar. I may change my grip and there's lots of ways you can do lat pull. And then I throw in, I do some stuff at home too. I throw in some pull-ups here and there, depending on how I'm feeling. Now I'm going to work my arms and I do use some machines for my arms. I use a cable for my triceps. What I'm doing for this eight week period is just a, a tricep push down. This is the bar I like to use. You can also use a rope. There's other bars that you can use. There's lots of ways. There's 40 to 50 ways you can work your triceps. This is just what I'm doing for this eight week period. So um, here's the biceps and I'm, I'm doing um, concentration curls, which I really like. And I don't, you don't want to bring that all the way up. I'm going to leave it to where there's some tension on my bicep. And then I also do some machine curls, but I, you notice I do these one at a time. Now, I'm going to go up to the functional area in Carson City. That's where I usually train, usually in the Fitness for 10 in Carson City. That's just my preference. We have multiple gyms, but that's where I like to work out. It's closest to my house. I'm going to push this sled forward and back. And this is working every bod, every muscle in your lower body, all of them. And I'll try to go for five minutes, not a lot. And then you notice, well, what about the cardio? Well, I'll go for a walk in the neighborhood and I'll throw those in, you know, two or three days a week, sometimes maybe more. And I'll just walk. I love my neighborhood. I'll just walk around the neighborhood. There's walking trails. So I'll go for 20 or 30 minutes, usually 30 minutes. Um, so that's how I end my Tuesdays and Thursdays is with the sled. Now, Wednesday is going to be deadlifts. And I'm going to do deadlifts two different ways. Okay, I'm going to do a sumo deadlift where my arms are inside my legs, my knees. And this works your lower body complete. It, it's different. You will feel a difference. Some people are better at sumo. Some people are better at conventional deadlifts. I do both. When I was younger, I was always doing the sumo deadlifts because I could do more and, you know, we're testing and seeing how much weight we could do. So I always used a, a sumo deadlift and my stance for my squats was also wide. I just found that I could do more. So, but now I do both and I'll do at least three working sets because I'm only doing deadlifts right now um, once a week. 
Now, in other programs, I'm, I may be doing them two or three times a week. But for this eight-week period, I'm just doing them on Wednesday. And I do both types of deadlifts. The sumo deadlifts and the conventional deadlifts. Now, um, I may do um, some light squats or something with it today. Uh, was my Wednesday workout. And I didn't do anything else other than the deadlifts. <clears throat> but I could, depending on how I feel. Now, um, the, the, rest, the rest of my workout is going to be the same as Monday. So I'm going to do the leg curls again. I'm going to do my calves again. I'm going to work my shoulders this was my Wednesday workout. My shoulders felt a little stiff. They felt a little tight because I blasted them on Monday. So I went light on my shoulders. So I don't just go, this is what I'm supposed to do and not deviate if I know my body is saying to do it a little different, go a little lighter or go heavier. I'm not, I, I don't hesitate to put more on the bar and, and go heavier either. either. So I'm going to finish that off. Um, this is uh, on Wednesday. I'm going to finish it off again with um, the stair mill. And I, I love to finish it off that way. Okay, so now we are to Thursday is again the same as Tuesday. So I do the exact same thing. Friday. Friday, I'm going to start off with leg press. So I'm going to do leg press. I'm going to do maybe probably five working sets. And I'm going to do anywhere between five to ten repetitions. And I'm also going to do some hack squats, depending on how I'm feeling. Maybe I go back to that uh, squat bar, um, the safety squat bar, maybe, depending on how I'm feeling. Or I may do hack squats. Or I may just stick with leg press for Friday. So that's what my lower body workout is uh, in addition to the leg curls again and the calf work, either the seated calf or the calf machine that you see me using. And usually, usually it's both. Now, sometimes I'll throw that in on a Tuesday and a Thursday also. So, um, now I'm going to come back this Friday, which is the same as a Monday, the last part of my workout, and I'm going to do um, my shoulders. I'm going to do side lateral raises, and I'm going to do dumbbell shoulder press. Two exercises, and depending on how I feel, I may throw some other things in there. So um, now on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, those are the days, I think I said this wrong, but on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, that's when I'm going to end um, with the step mill. Five minutes, I'm going to go up 15 to 20 flights of uh, stairs, and then on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to do the sled. I'm going to push it forward, I'm going to push it back, I'm going to try to go about five minutes, depending on how hard I go, walking you know, around the house for a little more cardio or just a little, you know, relaxing walk. Now, what about core? I'll do my core at home and I've got an ab bench type thing that I can do at home or I can do it in the gym or maybe I do some crunches or some other type of ab work. I A lot of times I do it at home and I can do it two or three times a day. It's easy to do it at home. I like to work out at home. But Almost all of my workout right now is in the gym for this eight-week period. So my working uh, sets for each exercise are about three to five, maybe six on everything. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's not a lot, but it keeps me in shape. I can do more. I can push harder. And so many of you have asked me, well, what are you doing? Tell us what you're doing. Well, this is what it is right now. When I change it, maybe I'll do this again and, and show you what I'm doing now because I could, I started this business, I started off in this business as a personal trainer. I could give myself 
a hundred different programs, literally. So all depending on what I'm doing and I vary it. I switch between free weights and machines. I do a lot of different stuff. Sometimes I'll throw battle ropes in there at the end of a workout along with the sled or <clears throat> along with the step mill. So if you guys like tips for old people like me or beginners or just information about uh, gyms and health clubs and what to do in there. And just, I just like to encourage people to get in the gym or exercise at home and uh, do something. It will change your life. So if you like stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel. You can see some of my affiliates in the description. And I'm not a big product pushing type person, but uh, some of the affiliates that I have, I really, really believe in them and they've been life changers for me. So you can check those out. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, but yes, uh, like and subscribe and drop your questions in the comment section or your comments. Just I, I love to hear what other people do. It always gives me ideas. And some people come up with some pretty creative, intelligent workout ideas that they do for themselves. And I've been doing this all my life, but it amazes me how there's still people that come up with something new and different and a, and a reason to do something the way they're doing. And that fascinates me. If you have a reason for what you're doing, it's probably not wrong. There's very few things, in my opinion, that are wrong if you have a reason for doing them. Now, if you're lifting your butt doing a bench press, that's just wrong. It's just wrong because you can do a decline and get that same position. So that's just an example of how something might be wrong. But if you're doing pulsing, you're not doing full range of motion. Um, if you have a reason for doing what you're doing, it's usually not wrong. So appreciate you guys. Love to hear your comments. And I will talk to you soon.